way we need to identify the variables. So again, go to the question. We always want to look at the question that they're asking to see what our variables need to be. So the question is, find the number of quarters and the number of dimes. So we're talking quarters and dimes. So we could let Q equal our number of quarters and D equal our number of dimes. So part B, the equation that counts the coins, well, we want to look for a total number um, up in the problem for how many coins we have. And it says Ima has 15 coins total. So all of her quarters, Q, plus all of her dimes, well, I guess I'm assuming this is a girl. I don't really know. Q plus D equals 15. So all of our quarters plus all of our dimes is equal to 15 total. Part C, we need an equation that does the value of the coins. So the value is, you know, how much is it worth? Do we have any of those total numbers in the problem? And she has a total of 225. When she adds up all of her quarters and her dimes and looks at the value of each one, she's getting um, $2.25. So what is a quarter worth? A quarter is 25 cents. So we have 0.25 times every quarter, plus dimes are 10 cents, so 0 0.10 times every dime. And when she adds up all these values, she gets a total of $2.25. $2.25. Part D, solve the system and answer the question. So here are the two equations. Um, you may look at this and say that you don't really feel like working with decimals. So a nice trick if you want to not work th with the decimals is um, move the decimals. You can move them as long as you move them in every single one the same amount. Um, so I can move the decimal twice in each number and then look at a 25Q plus 10D equals 225. That might be easier for us to work with than the decimals. It doesn't really matter. You'll get the same answer in the end. So try something new. I'll go ahead and do that. And then we have, you know, our Q plus D equals 15. Technically, what we did right here is by moving the decimal two spots to the right, we multiplied everything by 100. All right, so the last problem we did, elimination, I thought we'd do substitution on this one. You want to solve for a lonely variable. I see Q and D up in the first problem that we could solve for. Um, so you could solve for either one. Let's solve for Q. So Q is going to be equal to, if you subtract D from both sides, we have a negative D plus 15. Um, so that's what Q is equal to, negative D plus 15. We're going to take that, go to the equation we haven't used yet, which is our second one, and we're going to substitute that in for the Q value. So we have... Um, 25 times a negative D plus 15 plus 10 D equals 225. Now we're just going to do some um, distributing. We have a negative 25 D. 25 times 15 is 375 plus 10 D equals 225. Combine your like, ter like terms, 20, negative 25D plus 10D is a negative 15D plus 375 equals 225. Subtract 375 from both sides. Um, over here, I'll finish it up. Negative 15D is equal to 225 minus 375 is negative 150. Divide both sides by negative 15, and D is equal to 10. So we have 10 dimes. If we have 10 dimes, we know that our quarters plus our 10 dimes equals 15 total. So how many quarters do we have? Subtract 10 from both sides. We have um, 15 minus 10, 5 quarters. So I'm out of time, but you would want to write in a sentence, um, I'm a saver has five quarters and ten dimes.